sir whether we are having any plan of the registration of the engineers or technical teachers like the mci used to do for the doctors we are having plan so it will help for that uh, one teacher's name appears in the many of the college e excellent question which i have uh, wantedly skipped this we have put a proposal to mhrd like your registration of uh, doctors we have put a proposal to them but uh, government of india says that it is the prerogative of mhrd to do this and they are reluctant to give this responsibility to iste the when mr pandey you must be knowing it when mr pandey was there as joint secretary we took up with him but he said that it is the prerogative of mhrd to do this and uh, yes put the file court orders on the file and uh, a proposal is with mhrd if it clicks it will be excellent but they are not taking any action on that and aict is also not doing any work on that if it is there it will be very financial right like excellent point made yeah. in fact uh, it is a sore point uh, many places that because of this lack of database as you rightly pointed out the same teachers name appears at various places and i do not mind if that name appears as a visiting teacher but if it appears on the regular staff list in fact on the uh, lighter vein and uh, slightly on the sore side of the topic uh, some of the aict reviewing teams which go from college to college and they actually pointed out that uh, the many colleges in the vicinity seem to have the same names there and on the lighter side i heard a joke that uh, since the icd team typically goes to multiple places in that vicinity ahead of them moves a truck and a bus the truck carries equipment and books and the bus carries the faculty members yeah. that is uh, nauseating if that is true but that's the sad part of life so this point is doctor is registered in mcr yes if his name is there for a medical college correct. it will remain for at least one year. correct that name cannot be used correct. by some other medical college that is correct see so, what i tell you it was my personal initiation that i told that if we put this request in the website and uh, give uh, a login password and other things so that teachers themselves can register so that our database will improve and increase uh, i told that we can do it doesn't involve any cost and then my president so don't rub government on the wrong side and don't do that uh, i'll tell you what i have initiated the same thing uh, as some of you may know dr mantha has recently joined the uh, aict Uh, Prasamantha, uh, ex uh, Vijaya, has uh, joined as deputy chairman, and uh, he will probably be handling some of these things there. So, my suggestion to him was that insist as a regulatory mechanism that every institution registered with AICT, whether approved or is seeking approval, to put on the central website. a a link to their own website and b quite independently on the aict website complete details of the courses that are offered by that college the number of seats that are available since which year that is functional and the complete list of faculty members including permanent and visiting now this may take some time but uh, he understands the reason for this request exactly the same thing that we are discussing and this should happen very quick so already so, mandatory disclosure is there in which we have to put all these things the mandatory <laughs> disclosure is not being put transparently available yeah. and accessible to general public and yes. i think uh, in fact if somebody just raises a rti inquiry yes then there could be a serious problem <laughs> but why should we have to do that i mean this should happen automatically but i hope that it will happen yes. good point but ist is not being permitted to do that it's not been permitted wonderful yes, yes, yeah we if you ask personally or if, i mean in the general interest if you ask we can give you database officially we cannot give because they said don't do this otherwise i have excuse me sir uh, if if ist mem membership is there then uh, can it be support for publishing a paper outside a country for publishing paper in a journal depends upon the criteria given by the journal it doesn't automatically say that okay you can do this because it depends upon that uh, journal i mean uh, guidelines given by that journal
they will not say okay you are an IST member you can publish now. And for conferences? You are talking about international journal. Mm, yeah. journal for national journals it, it depends upon the whatever whether it is national or international it depends upon the guidelines given by the journal authorities. For conference and other things also if it is a national conference funded by IST you will be given preference and uh, you need not pay the entire uh, fee charges will be concession for IST members. But the acceptance of any research paper, whether it is in conference or in any journal, has absolutely, absolutely nothing to do with your affiliation. Yes. You can be a member, you cannot be, a, you need not be a member. Some journals or some conferences may say that in order to make a presentation, you have to be a member. But the acceptance or otherwise of your paper will never have anything to do with your membership. Sure. It will only depend upon the quality of that paper and whether that paper meets that theme or not. So, uh, all is there any financial support? The financial support is a separate issue. Mm -hmm. The financial support, as uh, he says, if it's a national conference which is sponsored by IST, then probably there could be some support yeah, for, for it. members. This is uh, and, and usually the support will often be in the form of you are not having to pay the registration charges for that conference. I don't know about the travel support. Travel or support, or you know. But then in IST handbook and this website, we have given some 15, 20 places where you can get travel grants. That will be helpful to you. You can approach directly that agency and get the travel plan. Even in AICT, you have uh, provision to get travel plan to attend any seminar. So, but workshop. that uh, takes at least three to four months. Yes. More than that. Yes. See, what happens, you know, in AICT, what they will do? They will collect this travel grant application. If it is more than 50 or so, they will call 2-3 experts, then they will do. It is not that uh, this conference is in the month of April, we have to conduct in the month of March, it is not like that. But of course, you have to apply 4 months before the date of uh, conference, but they will conduct, but then things will take its own time in the AICT because it is the government organization. See, what is the difficulty, I will tell you, one person like a, like a faculty uh, bureau, faculty development bureau, he will be given in charge for this one. He will be there for today for 15 days, then he will be transferred to another uh, department, a quality improvement bureau. So that the person who is to be transferred or who got transferred will take his own time to do the work. It, it happens in government office. I, mean, I have a related question for the conferences. Uh, there is a lot of conferences that is coming up in India, but then it is very difficult to find out what the quality of the conference is. Um, do you have any ranking mechanism or something to say how good the conferences are like we know how the international conferences are good or some ranking mechanism is okay. there? Okay. This is a very nice question and excellent question. Um, generally what we uh, casually tell is meeting is for eating and uh, conference is a get together. But it is not so in all the cases. In my, my personal view is you can't uh, rank a conference saying that it is the number one conference and this is the number two conference because it's, it varies because the theme varies from conference to conference. If it is the same conference, you have a standard. See, what we can do is even if you have an evaluation system, you can see uh, whether the conference is conducted properly, whether sessions went on in time, number of questions we can ask. But what is the usefulness of the conference pertaining to the theme? No one can say because it differs. If you conduct the same conference on the same theme in different places in India, say 10 conference on accreditation, then we can rate out of the 10 which one is first, which one is second. But conferences every day there is there are two conferences running around in the world. If you go to the net, you can find out. It is very difficult to. The reason is, for example, there are a lot of conferences with say international conference or national conference or something in India. And a lot of t um, faculty, because of pressures from institutions, want to publish, but they don't want to travel abroad, so they go to these small conferences. But then later, they, you know, the management will say this is not a great conference because you know. So it's very difficult to see if okay, these are at least you know some level of recognition to say this is a good quality papers are coming out of this conference. Well, madam, I'll tell you, if you are a beginner, I mean, I don't know about you, but if you are a beginner, you must go to a all conference, get see things, how they are preparing, how they are presenting papers, what is the quality. If you take the proceedings, you can find out the quality of uh, the paper that is presented and the printed or published. Unless you go to a conference, how will you know that whether it is good conference or a bad conference? You must have experience to 
in attending conferences, in publishing papers, then you can yourself say, okay, this is a good conference. And based on the person who is going to conduct the conference, based on number of people who are going to give lectures, you can yourself judge. See, for example, if he conducts a conference, if I conduct one, there will be difference because he is stalwart, I am a puppet. So you can always say that his conference is in the government. I think he's being very modest, but let me add to it because it's a very important point and I'm glad you raised this because I think everybody would be concerned with this. See, teachers are primarily concerned for two reasons. One, if they have done some good work, they would like it to be acknowledged at the better place. Second, teachers' career often depends upon the evaluation of the research work which they publish. So this is important. And uh, Professor Harir is absolutely right. There are conferences and conferences and conferences and there are journals and journals and journals. Okay. Firstly, about the terminology we use in India, national and international. This is an extremely derogatory terminology and it comes out of the legacy of the British system because it implies that international conference or international journal is some way slightly better than national journal or national conference. Uh, the biggest nonsense. The fact of life is that some conferences are good and some conferences are bad and they happen both nationally and internationally. I know of an international journal we saw when we were evaluating uh, some applicants is two papers in that international journal. Those were not the days of the web. So I was on the search committee. I went to the library and found out that international journal had papers. The entire paper was one page paper in three columns out of which one uh, two-third of the first column was the paper and the remaining one-third of that column and the remaining two columns were the biodatas with photographs of four authors. Now you can imagine, the, of course, one can say that one can write the most important things in life in just a short thing, but then it has to be like something like Ten Commandments. And I, I will assure you it was nothing like that. Now this, is, this can happen. What we do in the IIT system in general is what I'll share with you. Each department has a list of gradation of conferences and journals. Okay, this list is generally made based on the impact factor of the journal and conference. And the impact factor we find out not only from the quality of the uh, papers that are published, but also the citation. As you know, citation is one index that we use. Not only how many papers you have published, but how many of those papers are cited by others how many times? Exactly. That's the quality. In fact, when I proudly say IIT Bombay is number one in computer science, we did this citation index survey of the top 10 Indian CS researchers. Indian meaning? Those who are in India. There are many top Indian. Out of those 10, amongst the faculty, not amongst the faculty, out of 10 researchers as per that site share citation index, six work for IIT Bombay. I am not even a researcher, forget including in that top 10 list, but Professor Ranade was one. Kriti Ramamritam reached the path. He is the topmost researcher in the country. Uh, Shaumen Chakravarti, look at the web mining book that he published. That book was not published on the work which he did at Berkeley or at IBM Almaden. The work that he did in IIT Bombay is what produced that book. So these are some of the criteria that we use. Now from a college perspective, here is a practice that we follow which I would recommend that you should. The department makes a list of all these conferences and journals and categorizes them. A plus A, B plus B, C, these are the categorization based on the impact factor, based on the quality of papers published, based on the quality of the authors who go to that. Not only we encourage our research scholars and MTEC students to try and select the A plus category paper, but we also identify that if your work is, let's say, is not adding something new to the knowledge, but it's a good implementation, a good incremental research, then we recommend go to this B plus conference, as Professor Arir was saying. Get yourself exposed. See what other people are doing. In Indian journals, for example, take Sankhya, the statistical journal published. I mean, that is one of the topmost journals in the world. Or in computer science, take the FSTTCS conferences or Sigma conferences that we have been doing. They are, they are considered wherever refereeing occurs, wherever strong refereeing occurs. So some of the criteria is 
what is the percentage of acceptance? So if 100 papers are submitted and 15 are accepted, then it's a strong confidence. If 75 are submitted and 74 are accepted, you can see this is exactly how you measure quality of educational process. You know? If you have an institution, take many training institutions, I had arguments with the very senior friends in the industry. I have said that if you admit everybody who applies and if you certify everybody who is admitted, how can you guarantee the quality? So the conferences and journals, the same thing will happen. As a matter of fact, I will go one step further. It is important that we conduct research conferences in our institutions where we put a strict requirement of quality. So what happens is, suppose I am organizing a conference in some place. Now I suddenly find that there are not enough good quality papers. I am worried. I have to conduct a conference. I already announced a three-day conference. I have six parallel sessions. I need 25 papers. If only 27 have come, I will still run that conference. Should I not have the courage to say, out of these 27, only three papers are good? And I will inform all participants, the conference will run only for half day. It's a chicken and egg story. If we are not interested and committed to improve our quality, that means a lot of self-introspection. So this is a larger problem. Sorry to take your time, but my suggestion is, go back and make a list of conferences and uh, journals in your own way. There is a public list available by the Australian University, which we actually have adopted largely. Keep re-examining that every year, because new journals come in, some old journals who were top quality may not be any more top quality. And keep that list publicly available within your department to students and teachers. And ask every teacher, please try to send your paper to higher and higher level, but in a graded fashion as Professor Hiran says. I think that will be the best. Sorry for digressing, but it's a very important issue to a faculty. Sir, but outside a country, we have that benchmark, IEEE conferences are good. Nonsense. <laughs> how, many, how many IEEE conferences that I can tell you are absolute nonsense? You see, by the way, even the best conferences and journals, which are otherwise really best, can have an absolutely lousy paper sometimes. And sometimes a completely unknown conference can have one of the most brilliant papers. Please do not generalize. And one of the reasons why people send to international conferences is A, because of that unfortunate nomenclature, international. Okay. And if that paper gets accepted, people actually get an opportunity to travel. Yes. And then they will figure out some grants or something like that. So uh, it's a dicey issue. I am not convinced what you say is true. So I have seen. No, no, that is not correct. By, by the way, if you have such uh, four papers in international ITPD conferences and you apply to uh, IIT Bombay for a faculty position, the, the moment we see those names, and if those names are not respectable conference, we won't touch that application with a 100 meter pole. Now, you have to decide what you want. You want your publications to be recognized by the peers who count, or you want them to be counted in your biodata which is published somewhere. Your choice. Number, so, and yeah, absolutely. Yeah. At the end of the day, you know what is the best evaluation? When I see myself in the mirror, can I see that figure in the eyes? Okay. Nobody can evaluate it better than me. And the second, have I done the best I could in whatever? Answer to that question is always no. So most conferences are having the last date of submission and the last date of acceptance nearly three or four days. Yeah. So look for conferences which insist on conference paper reviewing, re revision. So look at the, uh, uh, you will, many times you will find in the journal, first submitted this date, first revised this, second revised this. Now that means there is a rigorous process. So go for such places, you know, where uh, things are. Uh, myself, Bharti from Somaya College of Engineering, Assistant Professor from Computer Department. I am a life member of uh, IST chapter and from last nine years. Uh, we are not getting any uh, material, course material as you are sending, uh, telling that are available for the computer department. And uh, we are not getting that. Uh, and what, any other procedure is there we are supposed to follow to get that IS journals? Uh, I told you, you will be getting only the newsletter free. 
हाँ न्यूज़ लेटर यस यू हैव टू सब्सक्राइब ओके ओके व्हाट यू आर सपोज्ड टू डू एनी प्रोसीजर्स आर देर दैट इज़ गिवन यस सर यू कैन गो टू द वेबसाइट फिल अप द फॉर्म सेंड द डीडी टू अस ओके यू विल गेट दिस जर्नल इफ यू आर नॉट गेटिंग द न्यूज़ लेटर सेंड अ मेल टू मी नो नो न्यूज़ लेटर्स वी आर गेटिंग थैंक But I will uh, 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 forgive me for being a, 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 a sarcastic observer. Sir. If I wanted to get a journal, <laughs> then I would get it, no matter yes. what. So if you haven't got it, that means the priority of getting it has not been very high in the minds of the institution. Okay. If the institution decides that it has to have that journal, why somebody will travel personally to Delhi, go sit with him, find out, carry the journal back. So. Let me put it this way: Information Sir. is available at multiple places, huh. and the website of any organization is probably the best place. Secondly, start sending emails whenever you get such questions. For example, suppose you have problems. Actually, uh, I was not knowing this many information, and I'm oh. thankful for you to give so many information about the ISA. Just I was a life member, and I'm getting the journals, <laughs> and I'm getting use of the. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you very much. <laughs> well, that is good. Well, yeah. good. So, in fact, ISA journal. CSI journal, for example. Let me ask you this question. Sir, you run a computer science department. Most of you do. How many students you have? Probably 60 to 120 every year. So about 400, 500 students doing computer science in your uh, 160, your 160. department would have about 10 teachers. Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Why all of them are not student members of the bodies like CSI or IST? Okay. Every student pays a fees. Close to about twenty thousand rupees per year or per semester, or whatever it is. Okay. Yes. Why is it that we don't feel to enthuse our students or to, yes, in sir. fact, tell them that for their own professional career it is important? Yes. Okay. Sir. What is the fees for uh, per year for students? Some one twenty rupees. One twenty rupees. Yeah. Now. C uh, for four ISD. years. Yeah, yeah. CSI also has a similar thing. Sir. So. CSI actually does so many activities. The CSI chapters and so on. Why can't each college or two colleges in the vicinity have a We CSI have. chapter? Oh, okay. And why can't every student be a student member? Yes. Why can't every teacher be a member? The yes. membership fees is not very heavy. The okay. chicken and egg there is, yes. and you were very right as you implied. What am I getting from IST? That's an implicit question in the mind. So similarly, what am I getting from CSI? That's an implicit question. So actually, there is a there is a larger answer to it. What you will get from IST will actually depend on what you contribute. Give, yes. Because when you give, somebody else will get. When somebody else gives, you will get. Yes. So this is exactly the essence of this collaborative work. So I think we should now start asking questions: What have I done for this organization first, and then after two years, say I have done so much now. What am I getting back? Perhaps that may be a better way of doing this. Sir, uh, we have IST. Chapters, I mean, kind of institute level chapter and student chapters and CSA chapter also. Oh, you have. Yes, sir, good. Have. But make the membership yes, obligatory sir. to everyone. Yes, we are making it compulsory. <laughs> Thank you, Father. Thank you. This will now spend about 10-15 minutes on deciding on the actual modus operandi for treating this mission as a or, or as a part of this mission to have a formal arrangement with IST. So let me tell you our back end. As I just explained to you, our association with IST began through the TIFAC project, where we wanted a formal feedback mechanism. That is the first time when uh, Professor Arjun came and explained to us the IST workshops, which are approved along with some funding ordinal. And he mentioned to you just now that from 400 workshops, one week workshops, he wants to take it to thousand uh, 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 workshops. these are actually subject teacher combinations so same subject there may be 20 workshops another subject there may be 30 workshops elsewhere from a financial perspective if i understand correctly the funding that they give is 1 lakh rupee for 30 teachers now i had made some inquiries about some people who had conducted ist workshops like that professor satish devne from rit there is somebody from rit here he mentioned that the practical problem is that 1 lakh rupees is often not adequate to cover all the costs because if people have to come and stay and thing like that but i believe ist permits organization to charge additional uh, fees to the participant to cover these costs let me make very clear if you can if you can uh, tell See, us aict gives uh, this 1 lakh rupees for one program for one week program 
initially it used to give for one, one week program some 90,000, two weeks program some 1.25 lakhs, three weeks and four weeks. Now we have stopped this four, three and two. They say go only for one week program. And this coordinators also felt that it is very difficult to retain a teacher for more than 15 days or one month or so. They said one week is very ideal. They said. Now this 90,000 which, which I told you was fixed in the year 1996 and it has not been revised. We have been sending application after application and we have asked AICT to do only one question. You are giving 1.5 lakh rupees for a course which you are directly giving. 1.95 and if it is through ISTE it is only 90,000 why there is one uh, I mean differentiation in the eyes and the uh, chairman said I mean, you have raised a good question we are working on it and you will get. So this 90,000 is only the current one it is under revision and you will get the same amount like what uh, he said 1.9 huh? correspondingly we can ask for 1.5. See the major thing for this one is the boarding, lodging expenses and as well as for the uh, TADA. So we are working and definitely we will give more money. Number two, he said that whether we can uh, put some money, I mean raise some funds. You can raise sponsorship from nearby industries, ask them to give one lunch or dinner or whatever. You do not have to give any accounts for that. We need utilization certificate only for the amount which we give to you. You can get sponsorship for 5 lakhs and you can give them a good briefcase, you can ask them to come by air, whatever you want you can do. We are not going to ask you why you have collected. Number 3, you can even uh, charge some fees but as far as this AICT program is concerned that is not permitted. Fees should not be charged from the uh, participants of AICT sponsored program. If it is a self financing you can charge anything fees should not be charged for the ASCT program, sponsored programs. If it is a self-financing program, you can charge the fees. We will not ask. Yes. For that, what you have to do is, if you if you are confident to uh, get sponsorship from the industries, say 1 lakh or 2 lakhs or whatever it is, for 30 or 35 or 40, you can even charge fees for the participation. Then you have to give only 500 rupees for us for one full course as a processing fee and 150 rupees for each candidate, 150 rupees for each candidate whether it is one week program or two weeks program or one month program, you have to pay 150 rupees towards administrative expenses. This is the, this is the commitment for self-financing course. You can even collect as much money as you like and spend. We are not going to ask any accounts from you. For the course which we say okay it is approved, just to give application with 500 rupees DD, we will approve the course and you can use our logo for the certificate. Why we are more interested in saying that you can use our logo, if you have a certificate with the logo imprinted on it, then only it will be considered for a career promotion scheme. Is that clear? If the IST gives the funding, then you can cannot charge the fees. Yeah. Because the, the problem sir is that if you recall you mentioned that AICT is giving 1.95 lakhs. 1.95 for two weeks for direct funding. If it is through IST, they give only 90,000. For two weeks? One week. For one week? For one week. Uh -huh. If it is through IST, they, they give, give 90, only 90,000 rupees for, for the program. And if they give? Uh, Directly, they give for two weeks 1.95. Two weeks 1.95 and one week 90,000 is not too much difference really. <laughs> okay. But one week program for 90,000 rupees, believe me, if I have to arrange for accommodation of stay of every everything, and I have to take care of the support system in my own institution. Take for example, the use of this seminar hall. The charges for this seminar hall are 5,000 rupees per half day. Now, if I have to engage this at 10,000 rupees per day for seven days, I have to give IIT Bombay 70,000 rupees. Now, if I give IIT Bombay 7,000 rupees, then I will have to tell them, uh, no lunch or dinner will be served, only <laughs> breakfast will be given. <laughs> And you can travel by bus or by Elgadi, but not by train. Correct. Now that is not a realistic uh, uh, situation here. So one discussion that we need to have immediately is under what model we should adopt this IST thing. See, I am very keen to have that IST logo. As he correctly said, these thousand teachers who will come, they want to see a value for themselves also. 
apart from the professional encouragement, they would like to see that an IST certificate is what they receive at the end. Because otherwise, the level of commitment and involvement will be slightly less. In fact, it could be much less. You know the real situation. Suppose we adopt this model, because we are not receiving funding directly from either AICT or from uh, IST. We are receiving funding from the parent governing ministry, MHRD. Okay, MHRD is also giving this funding for a mission project, of which conducting this program is only a part. That means as the project investigator, me and my colleagues here have the flexibility. Now suppose we say that we will go by the IST norm. That is 1 lakh rupee per week, 90,000, whatever you are saying. Uh, for two weeks, they say 1 lakh 95,000. Suppose we go by the AICT norm, which is slightly better. 1 lakh 95,000 rupees for two weeks program, for two weeks engagement. The only thing we do is we make our workshop as four week workshop. Why? As I told you, if you have read the theme paper, Two weeks is the actual physical engagement when the teachers will come at your place and work. But for two more weeks, they are going to work at their respective places, making contributions to the contents. These will have to be certified by the coordinators. Now, just as these certificates go to the participants, does the coordinator of a workshop also get a certificate or there is nothing like that? A coordinator, if you want, we can give from IST from the president. But uh, none of the coordinators have asked for any certificate. So coordinators don't get any advantage towards their own career development by doing this Godagiri, is it? Nothing. They will simply say that I have conducted this HTTP program in Achha. the that's all. Achha. But if, in case if they require any certificate, IST will give the certificate. I think that would be nice, isn't it? If the IST can sure. give a certificate. Fine. In this case, my recommendation is that because this is a novel scheme that we are coming up. We, as I mentioned to you in that theme paper also, we want to conduct a four-week program. As a matter of fact, the reason IST stopped this three-week, four-week, two-week, or the IST stop, is more from a logistics point of view and funding point of view. Exactly. Is not the actual requirement point. If you ask me, the requirement is to engage faculty members for a longer time so that the effectiveness increases so much. But we have neither the funds nor we have the logistics arrangement. That is why we have withdrawn. Here is a proposal where we handle logistics and funding in a different way altogether. Okay. So let's say there is no cost to AICT or no cost to IST. If we run it under self-funded thing, then for each candidate for a course of this four week, we pay them 150 rupees from the funding which is available for their uh, this thing. And you want what, 500 rupees uh, per? Only one. For one course, oh, 500 rupees. That's oh, 500 rupees one course. Good. So, 1000 teachers, 500 rupees. Plus, the cheapest possible, uh, 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 what you can say, uh, 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 process that you can have. And 120 or whatever rupees is the standard thing. Now, that is as far as the IST association formally is concerned. We will seek permission from them to conduct this self finance program. It is not strictly self finance. What we will write is that this program is being partly funded from a, under a mission project under MHR. But as far as IST is concerned, it's a self finance program, no funding is required. That will permit you to collect charges for the actual cost, if any, which goes beyond whatever funding is made available to you from IIT. Now what I am suggesting is, because I had made a provision in my own budgeting for about 2 lakh rupees per candidate per remote center. But that budget is not, it, it assumes that there are 30 to 35 teachers who actually participate at each place. So what we can work out is, we can work out a minimum cost, which is the institutional cost. See, after all, there will be facilities, the lab facility that you will be using there. There will be some teaching assistance that you will be using. You will have to give them some honorarium. As coordinators, you are entitled for a decent honorarium. After all, you are working for four weeks, and he is not even giving a IST certificate to you, which you can use for career. Anyway. I have given a complete no, no, I mean, breakup of how to spend this ninety thousand. Oh, you have that? Yes, I have given to her. I see. How to spend ninety thousand? General uh, broad guidelines are given. So suppose I will I will circulate it uh, as a printout. Just turn it over in your minds today evening. What are the costs at your own place? 
in your presentation, please also indicate for five minutes that part. So suppose a candidate has to come and stay. The way in which we are planning this is, at least in the larger cities, say Pune, for example, Siagar Institute or COEP, Pune, if I am not mistaken, has 50 colleges. Just like for even this program, people who are coming from Mumbai do not require accommodation. That clearly saves me money because the accommodation costs money. Okay. It saves me on dinner because people will go home and have dinner. It saves me on breakfast because they will have breakfast and come. The expenditure that I have to incur then, if I have such teachers at the remote center, is a good lunch, working lunch, and tea for two times. That cost is not too much. So I, I should be able to afford that cost within the funding that we can arrange like that. Sir, in our uh, 90,000 this thing, huh. boarding and lodging for each person huh. at the rate of 125 rupees per day is a lot. Sir, 125 rupees mein, <laughs> uh, I mean, I, 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 I have heard <laughs> this, the TA rates or something like that in, uh, yeah. in the cities. You go to Delhi with 125 rupees a day, you can either live in Dharamshala and go hungry the whole day, or sleep on footpath and eat one time a day. <laughs> no. That's the government of India. No, the government of India, see, uh, we, we appreciate and we but are very this, grateful that the government of India yeah, is giving this. This is the Bay Commission. Hmm. They, they revised this the DA. Huh. They have revised this DA. Huh, 1200 rupees per day. I see. Yes. But, uh, 250 but, rupees, they have revised this to 1200 rupees. 1200 rupees. Yes. Sensible. Hmm. But that is not reflected in the ICT. Yes, yeah, still they are struggling. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> But if you will ask me, you will agree that this in 125 rupees, you can give them a working lunch and tea for two times. Yes, that's the maximum. That's all you can give. Now, here is my suggestion. Suppose there are outstation candidates who want to register at your place. Tell them that this much will be taken care of by the institute. But for your stay in my place and for the additional food, this will be the extra expenditure. You or your college should pay to my coordinating institution this much extra fees or charges, we will not call it fees, it's not a fees for participation. Participation is free. We are funding it from the, uh, uh, from the uh, funding that we are getting. Mm. Participation, uh, the complete uh, uh, material, educational material, they'll get a DVD exactly like what you will be carrying out, so that they can go back and do that, etc. All that is free. But if there is a truly extra cost, now this cost may vary from place to place. In a place like Delhi, the guest house accommodation may be 500 rupees a day. In a place like Nashik, it may be 150 rupees a day. College to college also it may vary. But do you think this is a workable proposition? That uh, we fund uh, from the course the amount which IST ordinarily funds, because that is what I have budgeted. Except that for four week engagement, we are saying two lakh rupees per uh, candidate. Uh, not per candidate, two lakh rupees for whatever, 30, uh, 30 teachers for four weeks. But what is that four weeks? The last two weeks, they are not there at all. They are working at their own place. It's like what? Two weeks. Two weeks of physical engagement. They will be there with you for two weeks. Most probably, many of them will be coming and going back, coming in the morning and going back in the evening. Those who stay will pay additional charges. And those charges, each institution can fix based on the costing in that particular place. The only legitimate expectation from both those teachers and us and probably from IST is that those charges should be charges, meaning it should be cost, not price. That is, the institutional institution should not attempt to make some extra money out of that. Whatever is the actual cost, they should. Then this 2 lakh rupees which we give, okay, Barring this 125 rupees per candidate per day that you keep for two weeks, that is the actual cost that you will incur. The rest of the money is available to you as the coordinator to be disbursed, part given to the institution for hiring of whatever facilities you want, rest of it given as honorarium to coordinators, whichever way. I think we will go by the guidelines, okay. go back home, look at it, and amongst yourselves, you discuss various possibilities. And the final day when we conclude, and decide on the complete uh, this thing, we would like to get very great clarity on the finance. Because financing and uh, funding is one aspect on which I have seen even great programs faltering. Because unless if we come out that there will be uh, some additional expenditure or something, 
it is this pilot project which permits us to do that experimentation. Well, let's say we run this program, then for the remaining subjects, don't forget that we have to do for 15 subjects. And given the computer science IT proliferation of about 50% students and teachers being from this, not teachers, but students being from this field, it is quite likely that we'll have at least three or four more courses in the computer science subsequent. So you and your colleagues in your own departments may be involved, but other colleagues will also be involved. So we will work out some tentative plan. But will it be acceptable, sir, that if we say that this program, as far as IST is concerned, is self-financed, because we are not asking you or I, AICT for but any money. We can work out, sir. We can work out, MOU, sir. we can say. Ah, General MOU, out. we can sign. Correct. And we can, we need not commit all this, sir. Okay, okay. We'll, we can, we'll work that, that out. We'll work out. Because I can see it, if I put myself into their shoes, sir. I am a coordinator at Nasik or someplace, Aurangabad, whatever. Now, I have to run this program. I am committed to do this. But the teachers who come from various places, they will say, what are you doing for me? Oh, khana khila rahe, nahi khila rahe. My college administration will say, you are using 40 computers for two weeks. Oh, mofat mein nahi aata hai. <laughs> okay. There is a lab technician. There are two of my ME students who are going to help me as TS. All the provision we have given there, sir. Ah, okay, okay. But these but the amount may be paltry <laughs> <laughs> amount. But then we have given provision for everybody who is helping, taking Xerox, giving for contingency expenses, giving them notes, taking cop I mean, cost involved in uh, taking Xerox copies. Everything is there. We can modify that. Okay. This is only a guideline. Okay. We can modify and increase or decrease whatever. Okay. Whichever. See, but for example, we will not permit all the I mean, any participant to travel by second class AC. It is limited only to third AC. Uh, no airfare. Uh, Participants only my, limited to third my, my friend from uh, oh, uh, 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 Angami came from uh, uh, Nagaland. Nagaland. Yeah, I know. I would train me after that, you would have reached here after the course <laughs> has ended, you know. <laughs> it is no advantage. Similarly, there is a colleague who could not get a ticket. Yeah. So, this flexibility, of course, there is a difference. In IIT, I have a lot of flexibility. And I underwrite most of such expenditure through my own personal consultancy fund. So if the dean's office finds some rule number 15B under which this money cannot be paid, they redirect it to my consultancy fund for which I am the authority of payment. But this flexibility may not be available to everyone. All, not all people are rich teachers like me. Sir, this so, come, funds come from Government of India. Yeah. Even if you don't make any mistake in this, after five years, this CAG audit will ah, find out. No, no, no. We have the same thing. We have our own audit <laughs> and we will follow that auditing norm correctly. Here the point is that we would not require people to travel at all. Correct. Because if they don't have to spend money on travel, that money is available to the coordinator. So I think the best way is to say that as far as IST and AICT is concerned, there is no funding from them. So it's a self-financing course. But we will provide part funding from this scheme and any additional costs which have to be incurred can be recovered and there we can make some provision. So let us first read the entire detail and we shall discuss this, we will uh, assign a 15-20 uh, minute slot. But we must get absolute clarity on how we are going to finance the larger program, otherwise the program will not work. And uh, we are very glad to see that uh, IST offers, you know that, that logo is very important. So in fact today only I got a logo from him for our certification. Now I understand that it is no value to you, but whatever. No, but this will be valuable, right? Yeah. Because this is a one-week yeah. IST workshop which they are attending. Yeah. Yes. It may be coordinator's workshop. I was thinking more like just as four-week engagement is there for teachers, even for coordinators there is a four-week engagement. One week you are spending here. Then two weeks you will spend with them. Then after that they go back, they work for two weeks. When they submit everything, collate everything, to collect everything, to edit everything and then to send it back, you will require one week. This is not counting the extra work that all of us will have to do and keep doing even for the subject board. But roughly that is the plan. Yeah. So overall, sir, could we say that you generally approve this four-week notion? We approve. Yes. We happily approve because we are yes. interested in teachers' training. Wonderful. And we have a service organization. Whatever IITB says, we say okay. So on this good note, we end here. But we shall rationalize and see exactly how we can do that. And if legitimately we feel that there has to be some more funding or whatever it is, because it is not funded through a stringent uh, uh, standard procedure of IST or AICT, we can even have variables. For example, at some college there are only 15 teachers. At some other college there are 40 teachers. 
so what i would suggest is when you take this form and go back work out on certain minimal cost which you have to incur whether there are 10 students or 40 students that is preparation work the lab work the support staff etc etc and rest of it you work out on a per person basis so let's have two components and we can individually independently agree upon these two components and what i can tell my dean r and d is that as far as this pilot is concerned we will fund individual institutions in this manner will based on the number of registered candidate registered teachers in their place we will fund them for the basic uh, requirement for that coordinating center plus so many participating teachers multiplied by this figure let me add one more thing ha sir if uh, you are interested in uh, training teachers in the northeastern region ha huh. we have enough funds in aict and oh. separately what you can do is you can conduct a program for northeastern region right there is no dearth of funds you can ask even 5 crores people are ready to give in fact uh, that's what i suggested that at his center uh, if he can get people from, no, from you, the no, northeast region yeah, you have you have trained him now, yes. now he will become the coordinator of northeast region correct, correct. he can collect 50 teachers or so correct. you can fly over there give them inputs for that entire funding will come from asr yes yes there is no problem but then that has to be separately sent as a proposal for uh, northeast region uh, five months ahead in triplicate etc etc i i am aware of all that <laughs> the problem with the government is they will give you 2 rupees and will give 200 conditions you know so uh, that's okay but that's life but please also let us understand this in spite of whatever lacuni that we find mm. it is the government and the government supported agencies which are doing maximum for the betterment of uh, 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 let's have no doubts about it there is no other private sector company or anything which is committed to do the kind of thing that these institutions are doing one more thing i would like to add uh, professor patel's comments he has supported he said that because of government only government is for the people and you say the teacher this course is 5000 rupees you can go and attend you will not be provided tea uh, lunch dinner you have to pay from your pocket and get yourself and trained and come in nobody will go everything government takes care of But the only thing is some problem as you at least a practical problem will be there but there are good officers in government yes. if you go and explain to them saying that this is not possible they, they a friend has come from nagaland or we cannot do this oh no problem yes. but then one only thing is you have to put it in the right way correct but professor knows about it i think that's okay we'll work on this <laughs> so thank you so much with this we close this session